Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the weekly contest 232, 232nd. Hmm. Uh, maximum average pass ratio. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord if you like. Uh, I think this, for me, this was the most interesting um, problem of the problem set uh, and maybe hardest for me. I think if I didn't have a typo on Q4, I probably would have say this was the hardest one for me. Um, so, yeah, so this one, I actually uh, initially thought it was greedy. Um, I just gave the extra, well, I didn't, it wasn't even greedy. I just thought that, well, I mean, I, it was greedy in a way, but brute force in another way, but not in a good way, uh, which is that I I thought, I had an assumption that I had to give all the extra students to just one, the same class. Um, thankfully, or luckily, um, even though, I think this is a problem where, uh, where it would, I would not consider it to be a trick if they left this example out but I, I was very thankful that they had this example because it showed that I was wrong um, so here it would it gave me a different answer for that algorithm so then I, was, I had to think about how to do it and then I play around with a double of greedy um, uh, I play around with different types of greedy algorithm and you can watch me solve this live during the contest to kind of see what I played around with because um, basically I was just playing around with another greedy where I always give the extra person to to the class with the lowest ratio number, but that didn't work either. Um, so basically, what I end up with was for each, each, um, for each uh, a student, I actually and this actually requires looking at the constraints very carefully. Extra students is ten to the fifth, um, and so we we have a heap of the ten of the ten to the fifth classes, and that's just ten to the fifth times log ten to the fifth, which is roughly speaking, ten to the fifth times like I don't know, twenty something, right? So that's like two million and that's fast enough. But you know, these are things that you have to consider. But the idea here is the way that I did it is that I use this function. This is my code. It's very short actually, but uh but I had some issues anyway. Um but the idea is okay. We have a we want to maintain uh, and this is um uh, and this is a min heap in Python, so in other languages with max heaps, uh, this may be more intuitive. But basically, what I wanted to figure out was the most impact. Give, like, let's say I'm able to give one student to every, you know, I have, I have one extra student, I want to give it to this class. What is the impact? So that is the, the thing that I sorted by, right? So basically, for example, if I had, um, let's try this one because we were talking about it. Right. Let's say I have this class, and then the impact is just, um, you know, for example, the two four class. The impact is just three fifth minus two fourth, right? Because that is the that is the difference in the total that we're going to get um, when we give this class one student. And then we also do it for three nine. So this is four ten minus three nine. This is four fifth. Um, was it five six minus four fifth and so forth, right? So that's basically the greedy that I gave on. Um, and oops, and you could kind of prove this because, um, I mean, the only question I had, I mean, and this is intuitive and greedy in a way, but it also makes sense that you always want to greedily give an impact to, um, you know, give an extra student to the thing that raises your sum the most, and it's a little bit odd to think about but you know you want the sum of all these averages right so that's basically and this delta is that if you give the student this adds the total sum um total sum of the averages by that amount right it adds it by this amount and yeah my only question was whether it was fast enough and that's the only question i have because it's 10 to the sixth times log 10 to the or, or 10 to the fifth sorry times log 10 to the fifth um which is fine um but I had some doubts because sometimes Python and the code does uh, unexpected things and it makes me sad. But yeah, so look at the code. As I said, this is the impact of the code, but I, I subtracted because it's a min heap in Python. So I just kind of make it a max heap by doing a negative and keep track of the N and the D. And yeah, and, and for every extra student, we do it, you know, we do this log N operation. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then at the very end, we just sum everything, um, and then we get the total divided by n to get the average of averages, which is sometimes a little bit hard to get wrap around. But yeah, uh, so the heap. 
So for each O of n, um, we're going to push it to the heap. So that's going to be n log n. And then for each extra student, we're going to both pop and um, push into the heap once. So this is going to be O of n log n plus uh, n log s, where s is equal to extra student, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. So that's pretty much the, the time complexity. And then the space complexity, we just use, um, you know, the heap. So that's going to be O of n space for the heap. Um, cool. Uh, that's all I have for this problem. Uh, let me know what you think. And yeah, and you can watch me solve it live. And I played around with a couple of greedy algorithms, as you can see. Um, you can watch me do that next. I see. Mm -hmm.
Hmm, that's even worse. No, this is also just small. Still warmed up a bit. Six. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about this problem set. Uh, it seems <laughs> like it's been it's slightly easier than usual. But uh, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and you know you take care of yourself. Uh, and yeah, to good health, to good mental health. I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.